Crypto Slow, Cryptocurrency News and Investing. Crypto Slow here with some more crypto gains. Today we're going to talk about getting your Digibyte wallet to sync fast. So if you're going to join a Digibyte mining pool, you got to have that, Q, that QT wallet up on your desktop. So the problem is the Digibyte blockchain is four gigabytes long, so it takes forever for it to sync, which for a lot of people, you just don't want to wait that long. So here is the hack to getting it. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to install the wallet, and then we're going to replace the empty blockchain with the download blockchain, which is the same, and then the wallet will only be about two weeks behind. So what this will do is allow you to sync pretty quickly, whereas it just may take forever to download the blockchain. So step one is to go to the Digibyte website. I've supplied the link down below and I'm on a Windows system, download the Windows 64-bit version 614.2 desktop wallet. So you download the wallet. Step two is you install the wallet. After you get done installing the wallet, you're going to close the wallet. Okay. Then the next step is to download the blockchain. Now, there's a website out there called CryptoChainer, and basically they have all of the blockchains, and they try to update them, and basically you just click on whatever blockchain you want, and then the blockchain downloads. So, once the, the blockchain is downloaded to your desktop, so to repeat, now you'll have the Digibyte desktop wallet installed, it's closed, and you've downloaded the Digibyte blockchain. Okay, so now some important things. You need to make sure that you know the location of where the blockchain was downloaded. When you installed the wallet, it asks you where location you wanted to put the blockchain. The reason it does this is because it takes up a lot of space. So the program gives you the option to place the blockchain wherever you want. So in my case, I put the blockchain on my storage D drive in a folder called blockchain. And here you see it. Now, to repeat, your wallet is closed and you've downloaded the blockchain. So what you do from this point is you go into that folder where the wallet files were. You select all the files and you hit delete. Okay, I'm going to pretend like I deleted it. We're going to actually create a second folder that's blank. Okay, so we've deleted all the files and boom, I don't want to actually delete my coins, right? So now I've got the original, after installation of the wallet, the location of where the blockchain was. I delete all the files. Now, we'll put that off to the side and then we're going to find another window and we're going to find out where I downloaded that blockchain to. Okay, so I've got a few of them here. I'll just put that on my desktop. So pretending that we actually downloaded the blockchain zip file. So in essence, what we're doing is we're replacing the default empty wallet.dat in blockchain files with the pre-populated blockchain. And what that does is it gets you almost all the transactions and therefore fast forwards you so it looks like you're basically wallet is synchronized. So once again, the fo your wallet is closed. You went to the folder where the wallet.dat file was. You deleted all the files. I then from that point take the blockchain download. I hit extract all. I'm going to find that spot, right? And it's an empty folder and I'm going to select that folder and then I'm going to extract. So this is basically getting you four gigs of transactions and will zoom your wallet up to where it's synchronized much, much, much faster. I mean, I've had people that let it run for a day or two and it never synchronizes. So give it a minute here. Uh, 
unzipping, unzipping, unzipping. Okay. Got to be patient. Saves you a lot of time, I promise. I promise. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. All right, almost there. We should see a bunch of random files as well. And those blocks are all those transactions that have been happening for all this time. All right, we're almost done. And it is almost done, and it is. All right, here we go. So I've replaced the wallet and the... Well, actually, I've deleted the original wallet. When I open the application, it's going to generate a new wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Digibyte QT wallet. Digibyte Core, actually. 6.142, January 17th, 2018. And what you'll find is your application will start up. It's going to say approximately two weeks behind. It's going to sync for a little bit. Depends on how fast your connection to the internet is and then uh, you'll have a fully synced wallet. So this same concept applies to a lot of the other wallets that are based on the QT standard. Basically you find where the application is storing the information. Sometimes it's in the app data folder which you can pull up by hitting percent, app data percent. But the nice thing about the Digibyte Core wallet is it does give you the option to specify the location of your blockchain. So that's really nice. And actually here we can see, let me right click those, that block file. You can see it's 6.27 gigs. And that's actually a pretty darn big blockchain. So let me back open the wallet. So anyways, this is still firing up. And that's all there is to it. I hope you liked the video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Alex. Um, Alexis CC miner so that you can join a pool and get mining. So the first step though is get your wallet, get it synced, and then you're good to go. That's it. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.